I'ma still get my motherfucking message too with your raggedy dog mouth. Roll the face ass, girl. You a two dollar thrifty ass, dirty flip flop wearing hoe who sit on the motherfucking projects in apartment number 76, bitch, and eat snow crab legs all day off a motherfucking food stamp card. That's the clown. Shut the fuck up. Shut all the way the fuck up until you reach the top of Shut Fuck Mountain where there are no more fuck ups. To I don't know how to put this, but I'm kind of a big deal. People know me. A good man is like fine wine. They all start out like grapes. Our job is to stomp on them. <laughs> and then keep them in the dark until they mature into something we wouldn't mind having dinner with. Hey girl, meet me. Hey, where y'all? Shit. I oh, okay. I'm gonna meet y'all outside. Welcome to Divinate and Chill. What's up, guys? Welcome to Divinate and Chill. All right, this is a mini Divinate and Chill for a break time. Okay, so you can listen to this on your lunch break or on your first 15 minute break, your last 15 minute break. I ain't saying you gotta spend your whole break with me or whatever, but just a few minutes of your time. Okay. All right, so we'll go ahead and make this quick. Okay. So I have my notes all written out, I've carefully written my notes and got whatever I can get out of each card. So let's go ahead. Okay. So this is a eight card spread. So be pretty, this is, this is gonna be pretty short, okay? All right, so first we got the Ace of Cups. What I immediately got from that is I be in the flow state, flow state, everything is okay, okay. So in terms of career, finance, business, education, things are going good. Things are flowing the way that it should. Okay. The Ace of Cups speaks of a financial opportunity. You being in a flow state. Number one, uh, you having a leadership position or taking on a new leadership position. Uh, some of you guys could be a life path one or your birthday could be on the first month or first day. Okay. Flow, water, right? So this shows that you control the current of abundance and prosperity. You know how to make the current flow your way. You know how to make the current of abundance and prosperity to flow towards you and not away from you. You get me? All right. I did also say new job offers, an outpour of clients for my entrepreneurs and my hustlers out there. It is an outpour of like clients and financial uh, support. Okay. I'm also getting grand opening energy. So some of you guys could be uh, celebrating a grand opening, toast to success, as we see the gauntlet right here overflowing, okay, toast to success, okay, so some of you guys could have could be having like a, a, a grand opening for a physical traditional store, or maybe even an online business, some type of special that you're doing, some grand opening, perhaps you guys have a social media account for your business, and you're doing like your grand opening day uh, online, and you're recording it and things like that going live with your clients and consumers and they support you okay whatever field that you're working in all right so you're getting an outpour of client and consumer support and taking on a new leadership position next it's followed by the nine of wands as you can see there's someone looking there's there's a sag moon that's like minding your gauntlet they're minding your cups they're minding your new beginning right because you're getting what you want what you need, all your desires and needs and wants met, okay, with the Sacra Chakra, right? So this Knight of Wands shows endings. So for some people, this could be uh, job endings, or if you're an entrepreneur, you may have to let somebody go or something like that. Uh, there's also an energy of being overworked and underpaid, okay? Tedious work hours, long work hours, okay? Um, 
like excessive uh, labor. Something about that is coming to an end. Okay. This also speaks about caution. Okay. That was my light. It's all good. Um, I think I need to put the charger on my phone. Hold on a second. Yeah. It went down to less than 15%. Okay. Hold on a second, guys. Yeah. Okay, you guys will just have to bear with me because I can't turn on the flashlight at this time. So I guess we're going to take it as a, as a sign here. Okay, lights out. Okay, for some employees. All right, could be a Sag uh, moon or a Sag uh, feminine or something like that. But there is this energy of like um, overworked employees, tedious long work hours and things like that. And I'm also getting another energy with this too, that you guys are celebrating a grand opening like you're persevering through job loss or slow business if you're an entrepreneur you're persevering through that okay um so now we go into the justice and then the hierophant which is interesting okay we go to the justice card and i immediately got peer mediation okay um some of you guys may be asked to do a peer mediation between two co-workers Okay, you can have like an assistant position or a lead, you're taking on some type of leader position at work and you're asked to do some type of peer mediation. If you're an entrepreneur, you could be asked to do, um, you could be doing a peer mediation between two of your employees or something like that. Okay. All right. There's also with this justice card, there's also a performance evaluation of all the employees. So this could be happening at your job or if you're an entrepreneur, you could be doing that. You could be evaluating your uh, employees and shit like that. Okay. You're doing some type of peer mediation between two, um, two different people. Okay. So there's some type of, uh, performance evaluation, some type of audit being done. Okay. And a decision is being made in regards to, in regards to this peer mediation. Okay. I'm also getting financial settlement, energy, workers' comp case. So there may have been, uh, this might be a message for a few. There may have been some type of workplace injury, okay? There may have been some type of workplace injury, um, workers' comp case that you have that's that's currently open, okay? I did mention overworked employees, tedious work hours. So this could be a type of job that is like that. Like, that's the type of environment it is. It's just constant. It's very tedious. It's very, like, you know, laborsome or whatever, okay? And you might have gotten... Uh, injured on the job there's some and there's some type of like financial settlement okay and i'll go into it further as the cards go in it kind of elaborates even more okay so next is the hierophant number five shows an significant change in leadership maybe even a transfer or this work may involve some type of travel of, of some sort okay it could be regional travel uh you know out of state travel out of country travel international you know what i mean okay uh, especially what has to do with leadership. So I'm getting like leadership conferences, leadership seminars, uh, that type of thing, like team building type of uh, trips, uh, company vacations, yada to the yada. Okay. You're taking on a leadership or a mentor position. I feel like that position is opening up to you. Okay. Some of you guys can have um, a spiritual business. Uh, you can be um, a counselor, like an advice columnist, a, an advice person, uh, some type of like mentor for people. Okay, so anything in the realm of kind of like, uh, anything in the realm of like spirituality and, and you know, counseling people and sociology and things like that. And also for my students, I don't want to forget y'all, some of you guys are going to school for law. Okay, some of you guys are definitely in law, law school. You work long hours and you go to law school. Okay, big ups to y'all. Okay, all right. Some of you guys could be going to school to become a lawyer, to become a judge, or a paralegal, or something within that uh, the realm of law and business and, and counseling. Okay, there's there's counseling within the legal field um, as well when you're dealing with like family law and all that kind of thing, right? So I'm also getting class action suit because this is about groups as well and mentoring groups. So I'm getting a class action uh, class action suit amongst a set of employees for um, underpaid, overworked, unpaid wages is what I'm getting. Unpaid wages, uh, workers' comp case. Okay. I'm also getting an energy of them. They're, they're, like if you work in a company, like for my worker bees, for instance, right? You're working for a company, they may ask you to do some type of survey. There was some type of survey 
or, or something like that or anonymous tip survey I'm getting also like suggestion box okay there's meetings about what do you think about the company and where it's going like you're asked to give your opinion okay for some of you guys it might be anonymous where you guys put in a suggestion box like maybe we should do this maybe we should do that all right there's meetings that's been going on at your job about changes within the community okay certain people stepping down certain people transferring you understand what i'm saying and so that leaves leadership and mentor positions open for your business for entrepreneurs same thing okay maybe there's some people that maybe some of your employees are stepping down or whatever the case may be right and you're asking opinions from your clients and from your you know, subordinates you know how should we go about this how should we go about you know the happenings with the company well how do you feel about how things are going right now do you have any suggestions on how we can improve that type shit okay so now we get back to the to the uh, mediation some of you guys may be asked uh you as a worker b you may be asked to uh maybe you're you have an issue with somebody at the job and somebody is mediating it okay somebody's mediating it or you could be asked to do that by your boss to mediate between two other um employees okay this person likes how you move and they uh feel like you're a sensible person a hard worker yada to yada all right now for the entrepreneurs you can have you can have you may have to like mediate between two different employees okay that you hired or whatever somebody that's like a helper for your business and stuff there's some kind of little quarrel going on so first you got a knight of wands reverse okay this is like a sour apple troublemaker uh, type of person that's on the job okay uh, this can also be a troublemaker type of client okay or this could be your subordinates okay entrepreneur so there's some type of beef going on between this knight of wands okay it could be a fire sign or a fire sign energy and then you have another worker that is a total complete opposite this one is a hard worker knight of coins right this person is a hard worker a earth side energy more stable more down to earth more reliable yada to the yada so you may be asked to mediate between these two people okay one person is reckless the other person is reliable and you know uh, apologetic you know what i'm saying okay knows how to work as a team because this card adds up to three all right this could be a Taurus or, or a Virgo. Like I said, this person is down down to earth, okay? They're very well rooted. They, they're good at what they do. They're hard workers, okay? Whenever you ask them to do stuff, they do it. They help you. And then you have this person that may be a little jealous of this. Uh, you may have this Knight of Wands that could be jealous of this Knight of Pentacles, okay? All right? Because you maybe you show a little, they sh you show a little favoritism or something. You just kind of like, they're more solid than the other person, right? So you may be asked to mediate between these two people because they, they can't seem to get along. All right. Next, we have the emperor. All right. This is boss. This is, could be your energy. All right. From our worker bees, like I said, you could be a part of this mediation or your your boss may ask you to be a part of it because they find you to be a very sensible person. They like you. They, um, they ask for your opinion a lot. So they may pull you to the side and be like, you know, you want to do a special project with me or I need I need help with these two employees. I see that everybody respects you around here, you know, divine. So can you can you help me, please? Because I just want this. I just want the shit to flow. I just want this workplace to be less toxic. And, you know, I seem like people listen to you, they respect you. So let me you know, I feel like that boss pull you to the side to, you know, to to do this peer mediation. OK. And then lastly, we have uh, the star card here. Sorry, that's my notebook. Okay, so lastly, we have the, the star card. Okay, so the boss admires how well you work with others. Okay, he or she knows that you are a problem solver. Okay, you you boost the team morale. And you are the rising employee. I'm definitely getting employee of the week for worker bees and things of that nature. And as an entrepreneur, you may feel that way about this Knight of Pentacles. You may feel like this person is, is your right hand. You know, they, they uh, cover all your bases for you. You know, they're really good at what they do. They're, they're like secretaries, they're, they do bookkeeping, things like that. Like they help to keep things in order, you know? A leader always needs some type of support. Do you understand what I'm saying? And you feel like, you know, some of your employees definitely fit that bill, okay? Um, now, because, now back to the worker bees. Okay, I'm kind of going back and forth here. But because you were chosen to do this mediation, 
I feel like a new position was created for you at your job. Or maybe as an entrepreneur, you decided to open up a new position. Maybe they were both fighting over the same position or something like that. And you decided to open up a new one. That would be kind of like the solution to the mediation. Okay, I'm just going to open up a separate uh, position just for this. And then you work in that. And then you be in another department working there. So y'all don't have to be around each other. That's what I'm getting right there. Okay. And just with the star card shows that you're slowly but surely rising within your company or as an entrepreneur, you're slowly starting to get recognized uh, for your good works, recognized for your quality of products and quality of services. Okay. It could be spiritual services. We also have the A here. Okay. I did say y'all would have like a spiritual business, a social business or something like that. Something to do with sociality, groups, organizations, tradition. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. Aquarius. Okay. So this is like I, uh, altruism. All right. Your boss looks at you like, like, like you are like, because you're a progressive person, right? You're a progressive problem solver. You have control of your emotions. You know what I mean? You're quite detached. Okay. This is the Aquarian energy. Okay. You're good with technology. You're good with gadgets. You're always bringing in helpful gadgets to help with the job. You're always giving helpful suggestions. So the, your boss trusts you. Okay. Especially if you're an Aquarius or you're a prominent Aquarius placement, your boss trusts you. You don't, you're not as affected by the job. You don't get involved in all the politics and all the drama and the soap opera. You just do your work. And I think that they admire that about you. So when they see how you deal with stress and conflict, they may pull you to the side and say, I need you to mediate. I need to do this and that. And because you were able to help them out of that and make the work environment a better place, I feel like a new position is going to be rewarded. Okay. To you. All right. I finally hit the 15 minute mark. I'm not going to go any more past uh, 15 minutes. So that is pretty much the end of the reading and I'll catch up with y'all next break time. See ya. Yeah.